Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original Studios, and today we're going to take a little pivot. Um, for almost 10 years, I have worked in an LMS system, which is a learning management system called Canvas, and I've had a lot of people ask me questions on how to do different things, and I know it's a little different than my channel, but I thought, you know what, it'd be so important to kind of document this stuff and be able to share it with you. So... Let's go ahead and get started. So today we are going to do a mini Canvas Masterclass and I'm going to teach you how to import a course. So today we're going to dive into this essential topic. It's going to save you time and effort uh, being able to import a course into Canvas. So whether it's from um, a previous course or maybe you've been collaborating with other teachers and colleagues on this particular topic or course, my guide is going to walk you step by step through what you need to do to be able to import like a pro. Now, one of the things I will encourage is the use of what we're going to call a master course. Um, basically, what that is, is that you're going to develop all of your navigation, all of your homepage, your, all your details. And I would encourage you to think about that as a way to be able to use that every semester, especially if a course is being taught over and over again. So the first thing you're going to do to be able to copy a course. Now, I'm going to have to pretend that I already have a course built and that I want to import it into the next, let's just say, semester's course. So I already have to have two things established. Number one, I already have to have a previous course that I want to use. Second thing that I have to have is I already have to have a new course, let's just say, for the next semester as a blank shell. If I have those two things, super easy. So you're going to go ahead and log into your instance of Canvas. And you're going to go to your web browser, log in. Once you're in, you're going to be on your dashboard. Okay, so you know what your dashboard looks like. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and create the shell. So I already have the shell created for me. And what you can see is when you're in on a shell, it shows up as create a new module. Okay, literally it's unpublished, it's blank. This is as blank and empty as they come. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate in a separate tab to the course that I need. Now the course that I need, we're going to, in, we're going to import a business course, for example. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, you can't see it up at the top, but um, there is a number, so it'll say whatever your Canvas instance is called, slash courses, slash, and so mine, for example, is a five digits. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to settings. And then we're going to choose to import the course. Now I'm going to show you what it does. So it's going to load this import course. I'm going to go to copy a Canvas course. All I have to do is put in that, that code. Okay. Now I could also put the name of the course or if there's a series or an SIS number. Um, for me, I always think it's easiest to go up into the URL in Canvas because Canvas is built on a web browser, if you will. So you can grab that URL to send it to your help desk or whoever your instructional designer to help them edit or help you with the tool. Now, for me, what I'm doing is I'm copying the course. Now, again, a little bit of things have to be understood. I have admin access to be able to do this. Not everyone does. So if you don't, it may be a dean or a chair or depending on how you use this, it could be, you know, an administrative assistant at your school or the help desk. It depends. So if you for some reason can't do this, you can at least show them the process. If they're like, oh, I don't know how that works. This is how it works. So by grabbing the course number, so this is the course number, the 32620, um, putting that in, it hover over and I can actually see the name of the course. So I can verify, number one, that I'm importing the right course. Number two, let's say this course has been taught for years. And I say, well, the one we want to work with is the one from spring. Now I know, right? It's easy for me to find that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It'll put the information I need. Now the next step from here, this is where it gets really important. So these are all of our settings, right? So once we're in here, um, we can then select the specific content, right? So if you only want to import specific content, maybe you're only bringing in an assignment or a quiz 
or a module. Now this could work too if you use what they call sandboxes. So if you have a sandbox where you are saying, I'm going to develop this course in my test environment, if you will, or sandbox. And then once it's developed and I get the dean or chair to approve it, I'm going to import it in and use it as the new master course template, right? So I can choose which pieces I want to import along the way. Um, this also allows you to customize what gets imported. Um, the other thing you can do is adjust settings. So that's right here. Um, so depending on what your needs are, um, you might be able to adjust events or due dates. For me, I'll be really honest, I think it's just easier to go ahead and import in all content, especially if you're new to this. Um, because when you do that, it's just going to dump the whole course in. And then all you have to do is play cleanup. But if you know something specific, like, oh, I only want to put the uh, welcome page, that front screen, then that's another easy way to go. I'm going to go ahead and do all content just to show you. But adjusting events and due dates, there is another way that's just as easy to adjust those. And I will be putting together another video that'll be able to show you how to do that. So let me go ahead and import the course. It's going to say it's importing in, the date, the time. And then what it'll do is start processing. Now this, you might read it and go, what? Oh my gosh, it's been two years or something. Don't worry, it's okay. You can import in anything from as far back as Canvas goes for your instance. Um, it processes the full course. It takes just a few moments. And then while it's doing this, it's actually building the course. And remember, it's not published yet, so your students can't see it. So you still have time to make adjustments. So let me go ahead and get this all adjusted and running. And the way that I would encourage you to build, again, every school has their own policy, um, but I would really encourage you to build all of your course content as modules. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Building things as modules really allows the student ease of use um, and navigation. Now, when I imported this in, it says there were two issues. I can click on that and it'll tell me what it is. Okay, it's going to say, uh-oh, I can't find the grade book or the grading, basically, you know, my grading, how I go ahead and stack my grading. So there is a way to show you. I'll show you how to fix that. And then there's a link. So in here, I might want to double check all of the links. So let's go to the home page. And now again, remember, we're on my Jessica test here. You can see it imported everything in. You can see I've got my syllabus out there. Um, and again, all these due dates are wrong, so I'm going to need to fix them. You can see there's announcements, modules. Again, modules is where I build everything out. So you can see in here I've got like week one. Here's what we're doing in class. Here's what I have you prepare. Here's your participation. And then here's what you submit for the week. And again, this is what it looks like from the faculty or the designer's sign point. If you're a student, it looks a little different. I'll just click on that so you can see it. Okay, so you can see it looks just a little different for the student, but still very organized for them. So I'm going to leave that student view. And I want to show you one quick tip now that I am going to put up another video on how to make adjustments to all the due dates, but it's really easy. Again, it is located within assignments. And then you're going to go ahead and click Edit Assignment Dates. And then once you're in here, you can actually make all those adjustments. So again, if I was teaching this in the fall, obviously this had last been taught in the spring. So you can go through, make all the adjustments of your due dates, grab your calendar, make those adjustments. Big thing to do is just make sure you hit Save. And there you have it. So that is just how easy it is to go ahead and import in another course from another location. Um, I hope that this helped. I hope it was a skill game changer for you for this semester. If you have uh, any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I will do the best to try and answer anything out for you. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, my channel is not only just about Canvas. I do a lot of technology. I'm in the process of uh, actually writing my own children's book, so that will be on here. And then I do a lot of adventures, so I love taking trips that I can share with you, adventures around my state and other places like Disney World, uh, Wisconsin Dells, and more. So I hope that this helped you. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great semester. Take care, everybody.